Hey guys, it's Pop Daddy. If you like it, subscribe it. Uh, so in this video, I want to talk about the 10 movies that are coming out in 2021 that I am looking forward to seeing. Uh, in case you weren't aware, I am a huge Marvel fan. I do enjoy the odd uh, DC film. There are some films coming up that uh, reminds me of my childhood uh, and of course some movies that are coming out that I did enjoy the first one. So in no particular order, the first movie is Shang-Chi. Now this one here is aims to be a all if not mostly uh, Asian actors and actresses uh, and is going to be part of phase four of the Marvel film section. Come on, some more. Stop trying to hit me. Have hit me. Okay. See what you're doing? Corner of the Matrix. All right, Morpheus. Let's dance. So it's scheduled for a September 3rd release. Uh, so yes, not too far away now. Now the next one, of course, is Spider-Man No Way Home. Tom Holland reprises his role as Spider-Man. In my opinion, one of the best renditions of Spider-Man. You think that this material universe is all there is? Now that one comes out on December the 17th. The next one is, of course, Venom. Let there be carnage. Scheduled for release on September 24th, and the fourth Marvel movie to come out this year that I'm excited to see is, of course, the very beautiful Scarlett Johansson reprising her role as Black Widow. You don't know everything about me. The Avengers weren't my first family. And that one, of course, comes out on July the 9th. Uh, now, there was one movie that has already come out, but I haven't seen that I have included in this list. It is called Shadow in the Cloud. It was directed by New Zealand director Roseanne Lang, and it stars one of my celebrity crushes, yes, I'm guilty, Chloe Grace Moretz. And that one there came out on January the 1st, 2021. I am, like I said, still yet to see it, and I can't wait until I do so. Now, of course, Marvel are bringing out a whole bunch of movies. So are DC. Well, let's be honest, they're bringing out one that I want to see anyways. The Suicide Squad. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dressed as a court jester. It's coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. We don't leave one of our own behind. Hopefully Harley's still alive. No funny business, Colonel. These are dangerous people. Team two is clear to go. Fire up. Three, two. What are you guys doing? What? And that one is scheduled for August 6th. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll remember watching a whole bunch of bunnies and all sorts go against some monsters in a round of basketball. That's right, I'm talking about Michael Jordan's Space Jam. They have brought out another movie, Space Jam, A New Legacy, of course starring LeBron James. Welcome, King James. I am the king of this domain. This is the serververse. What'd you do to my son? Where's Dom? The only way you're getting your son back is if you and I play a little basketball. Pete, send this clown to the rejects. Wait! And that one's scheduled to be released on July 16th. Now, there were some movies that have come out before these ones that I've really enjoyed that has made me want to see what they come up with in the next ones. For example, A Quiet Place 2. Obviously starring the magnificent Emily Blunt. And that one comes out on May 28th. Now, of course, Keanu Reeves is back at it. Whoops! Of course, Matrix 4 is getting released this year also. And the 10th film that I am very much looking forward to seeing this year is Ghostbusters Afterlife. What is that? I don't know. 
and that one there comes out just before my birthday on November the 11th. So there are some fantastic movies coming out this year, guys. If you have any that I haven't mentioned, or even if you're interested in the same movies that I've mentioned, why don't you drop a comment below and let me know what you're looking forward to seeing this year. But anyways, that's all from me, Mr. Pop Daddy. If you like it, subscribe it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.